What's up my meatballs, it's Aaron Nitmar, welcome back to some more Let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Last time I stopped you at this door, this time we're gonna go through this door in the forest temple So, let's go And this is where there's a gold sculpture that actually is Um, I wanna say this might be a location of, uh, for, for the Scarecrow song So if we go like this A Scarecrow should appear if we talk to him, we haven't talked to him yet, so that's alright um, but if you have talked to the Scarecrows, uh, it's just basically returning there, um, then that's good for, for everyone. I can't reach this guy, though. So we'll come back to him later, um, because it's, there's an easier way, a far easier way to reach him than just right there. Um, so, in this room, there's a falling ceiling. You can see there are holes there, and, uh, uh those are the only places we're safe. So pretty much, find a hole and... Quick, watch out! The ceiling is falling down! And see? There you go. Uh, and we're unable to Z-target at all here. So, let's take that and go! Just trying to... We want to stand on s switches that are, like, you know, good for us. Or not, on spots, rather. So, uh, if you, like, just run to a spot like see that treasure chest has two spots so we want to run to that one because we have the least chance of uh crap, crap 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 we have the least chance of you know dying so open this up and there's some arrows and that was just you know a little a way for us to get to where we're supposed to be going which is in here and now we have a block puzzle so if we look up there we can see the blocks what we want to do is do like we did before and shoot this trucker in his eye. Alright, so these will fall, and we're going to want to push all of these into, uh, into, like, to what the painting is. Um, so, we want to push that blue one that's in the middle out of the way because it has no purpose here. It's not even part of the picture. Just trying to throw you off. Alright, so if we push this one, um, push this up. I, I hope we make this, because I really don't want to have to leave the room and re-enter. Alright, took me about 20 seconds, or like 15, to push that one. Yeah, we totally got this in the bag. Alright, there's that, and push this to the side. And that should complete this puzzle. Alright, so now we've got the poke. Ah, oh, come on, I was trying to, trying to beat him to the punch, but he beat me. She, she, their sisters, she. Ah, oh, come on. Crap. Oh, it's gonna take forever, isn't it? Come on, you can stop. There. Two more. Two more propose and two more hits. Alright. Come at me, bruh. We'll stop you sooner. The sooner we stop you, the sooner you reappear. There. Alright, so now that Poe is dead. And its soul or its flame or whatever goes there. And there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack that. Nothing we need. Other than a heart. Hearts are nice, but you. That was a quick death. It usually takes a while to disappear. Alright, now we're back in the main room. And now that we've got all three, three of the four, the original Poe is here. And this is gonna be, or not the original Poe, I guess the oldest, eldest sister Poe, I don't know. But this, this fight is gonna be much different, so let's go ahead. Alright. So we want to watch the one that spins when they divide into four, and that'll be the one we have to hit with our arrows. So when the four appear, watch for the one that spins, the one on the front. It'll be different every time, and I'm pretty sure it's random, so don't like follow my orders, just follow the order that watch the spinning one. See, now it's the back one. Otherwise, you'll just be hitting clones, and I mean, you can hit the clones, but it won't do much. I wonder if I can hit him with my sword, let's see. No, because it moves, what it does is she moves with you, so you won't be able to actually, you know, attack with your sword. 
Unless you use... Let's see if we use this. Nope. Sword doesn't work. Sword does not work in the slightest, so... Don't, don't try it. I was the guinea pig. Alright, this one. Alright, and that one should kill it. Which puts the fourth flame back in its uh, spot. And yeah, that's right, I'm the winner. I'm the winner, I'm on the first place pedestal. Alright, where is that? Uh, there, aw, oh, too late. Alright, so now it's time to go down. Oh, actually, we have to go and get that gold scotula. Um, I think it's this one. Let's see. I will, uh, I will see if it's this one. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Alright, so what we want to do to get this gold sculpture from, uh, if, without the scarecrow. is with the scarecrow, we can just use the door that we found in the checkerboard room. Um. Uh, we, we just use the door and then fall down and then see where Navi is. A scarecrow, I'm pretty sure, will appear there. I will put an on-screen annotation here that says whether or not that is, uh, the case. But let's go ahead and crap. Yeah, let's go ahead and crap. We have to get the, the treasure chest is here to latch onto, so to speak. Where am I? There it is. Is here to latch onto, so what we want to do is latch onto it. We want to do so without falling off the edge, so we have to grab onto a dimension that's on that side. Crap. Let's try getting a little more angled on it. I, this is the thing is, you, you want to make sure that you still, like, reach it. There we go. Alright, you can grab this if you want, it's just a recovery heart. It's just here to let you get up here. And we go ahead and grab the gold sculpture, and everything is right in the world. Alright, so now let's return to this place, and now we can finally head down this elevator and to see what uh, we can see. Alright, so now we have a big clock looking room. Not really a clock, but a spiral room. So you guessed it, we're going to have to go through and spiral it. I mean, so basically the idea here is we have to push it each time a segment. And the most you can push it is a segment at a time. Um, and there are two little openings. We want to check the openings each time to see if there's anything open. For example, in here, there's a chest, a, a regular sculpture, and a gold sculpture. And basically if you just follow this pattern of checking each room... Um, you will be able to, you'll eventually get to where you need to go, which is the, uh, the boss door. So I think I've got to go ahead and speed this section up, because this section is really monotonous. It's really just spinning it, um, and checking each door and hitting switches that open up new gates that we can access. So let the speed up commence! Alright, so we've opened the boss door, uh, well, we opened the gate to the boss door, so why don't we go and head on through. Looks like just a bunch of pictures. There doesn't seem to be anybody here. Like, does, it, does that mean, like, what am I, I guess that means we're done. Evil spirit from beyond Phantom Ganon, also known as Pig Face. Yes. Alright, so basically what he'll do is he'll go into these photos. Um, and then he will create two of himself, pretty much. There's uh, one fake one and one real one. The real one is usually lighter. Uh, I meant to use arrows, crap. Alright, let's see if I can time this right. 
can't time it right. What you want to do, the, the real one is usually the lighter of the two, like, intent. Um, so, so, that one and that one, it'll be this one. Um, so you want to hit him when he's coming through the portrait. Um, you want to hit him when he's coming through the portrait, because otherwise you won't be able to hit him, like, at all. Alright, so spin. There's that one, and there's this one. Went through the same one. Alright. If you don't, he'll use a shockwave, uh, and you just, you'll have to get between the, these two triangles to be able to avoid it. Because it takes sort of that same, like, uh, general path. Maybe this one. Bam. Alright, so now he'll ditch his horse because his horse is dead or stupid or something. No, his horse is still alive. Alright. And we want to play a round of tennis with him. Alright. He'll, he'll send a little electric beam at us, and we'll have to hit it back with our sword. Very, very, very famous trick here is you can use a bottle. A bottle is good in this game because it has less travel time than the sword does. Um, this is actually, this is actually, I'm pretty sure this is actually a glitch. It was actually really unintended um, for the game, but they've kept it in every Zelda game that this uh, battle has been in since. Um, but the bottle is adv advantageous because you see how much we have to swing the sword Com in comparison to the bottle is a lot less. So this gives us uh, more room to, um, you know, work with. Like, like, it gives, it gives us, like, more room to, you know, for error. Like, we can, we can still hit it late and still, and we can't hit it early, that's the thing. We can't hit it early, but we're allowed to hit it late. And hitting it late is a bigger problem than hitting it early. Alright, come on, dude. Alright, hit it back. He hasn't hit a single one back, and maybe he just, maybe it's the bottle thing. He's not used to the bottle thing, I don't know. And there we go. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions! Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the Forest Sage and help you. Now, please take this medallion. You received the forest medallion. Sorry, awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Sorry it will always be your friend. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout! 
Because you and Saria broke the curse on the forest temple, I can grow and flourish! Thanks a lot! Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up! Even after seven years, they're still kids! You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kokiri. You are actually a Hylian. I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this child was of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. You are a Hylian, and were always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link, break the curses on all of the temples and return to peace to Hyrule. Alright, so it seems that now that we have broken the curse on the forest temple, the Deku Tree can now sprout once again and flourish and become the spirit deity of the forest. And hopefully the forest will become right again and not filled with monsters. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Legend of, Oca Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Next time we'll do some st we'll be able to do some stuff with our newly found, our newly obtained bow and arrow, and we'll be able to find the next temple we need to go to. So, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again. Have a fantastic day, guys.